So thanks, everyone. Yes, this is the last demo. Um, I'm the only thing standing between you and pizza and wings. And I guess you're free to go if you want now. So, um, so my name is Ami Barzalay, and I'm with video. Um, if any of you caught any of our chief scientist, Alex Eleftheriadis' presentations, you probably have a good idea about what we do. And I'm also going to spare you from looking at any more PowerPoint slides and go right into a demo, because you probably saw his slides anyway. But um, So what I'm going to show you here is basically the three modalities of desktop video conferencing. So I've got our native OSX client running on this MacBook. And then I'm going to show you um, our browser plugin, which is able to give you all the features that our native client has just inside of a browser. And then after that, uh, what our WebRTC client looks like and explain a little bit about that. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. Um, what you see, I hope, yep, is the pre-call interface. This is my address book. Um, this is a, a demo server we have over in our booth, which if any of you haven't seen, feel free to go by tomorrow. Um, and that server is connected to the internet, just like I am here. And I'm going to go ahead and join my room. So everyone has a virtual meeting room. I'm going to hit join. I can see already there are three participants in my room, because um, I'm running a little bit late. So uh, I'm going to hit join room. And I did not connect any audio, so I'm going to spare you the sudden, shocking, loud noises. Um, so what you're looking at is essentially a four-way multipoint video conference. Um, you can see my self view at this awkward angle, and it's going to get even worse when I start looking at the audience like that. Um, and you know all the weird lights and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, but you've got um, our colleague Michael in the lower left hand corner, and then in the upper left hand corner is Kristen. Kristen is actually in our New Jersey office right now, sitting in front of a computer essentially identical to this. It's a webcam, laptop, um, no fancy hardware or anything. And then uh, in the upper right-hand corner is just another laptop in our booth with a webcam pointed at the doorway over there. Um, so this is what we call video desktop, video with a Y. And um, I can do a bunch of different uh, stuff here. I can share any applications or share my desktop into the conference. Multiple people can share at the same time. Um, I can alter my layout if I want. So just by hitting that button, I put it into active speaker mode. And so clearly, you can see it puts the whoever the most recent speaker is in the larger window. Um, there's uh, I can see the participants. I can chat with them privately. I can enable a group chat, um, turn my video off, mute, all that sort of stuff. Um, but what I do want to show you, in addition to all this, with the desktop client, is I'm going to open up the statistics window, just so you guys can see the different resolutions that are being used and what I'm receiving. And this is sort of the key to our technology utilizing scalable video coding. So I'm going to put this back in the four-way layout and then open up my statistics window. And you'll see here the resolution that I'm receiving from each one of these participants. So from the iPad, well, there, it's essentially 640 by 360 from everybody. The iPad is just in portrait mode instead of landscape mode. Um, now, the significance here is that the resolution that each participant is being encoded at at the source is not actually 640 by 360. It's 720 or 1280 by 720. Um, so they're all being encoded in 720p. Our video router is receiving their streams. And because of the size of my window here, there's a communication that's happening between my client and the server that says, hey, don't send me four 720p streams because I don't have enough space to put them in. Send me less information, and we'll figure out what the best experience is. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger. Um, it's a teeny bit of a challenge because the resolution of these projectors is forcing me down. So I'm going to put it back in active speaker mode and now switch back to uh, my statistics window. And you'll notice here that Laptop 3, AKA Kristen, so, her resolution has jumped to 1280 by 720 because I changed the layout of the window, which gave her video more real estate. So the server recognized that and said, all right, I'm going to send you the 720p version of Kristen. And so this is all happening dynamically on the fly. You just saw it. I didn't have to do anything special other than just you know, change the way I wanted to experience this conference. Um, 
And then the same goes for if I actually shrink this window back down, if you are savvy, you notice that she just jumped right back to 640 by 360. Now, what's really cool, you can't see it uh, from the projector standpoint, but if I don't have the projector, this is a MacBook with a retina display. If I am using the native resolution and I make the window you know, a relatively good size on retina, it will decode 720p for each rectangle. So effectively, what this, ha what this turns into is 1440p resolution video conferencing, which if any of you, if any of you have ever been in um, a telepresence room or anything like that, um, 1440p is about 80% more pixels than traditional telepresence or 1080p. So on this MacBook Pro, I'm able to do better video conferencing than traditional telepresence. Um, so that's video desktop. What I'm going to show you now is, uh, with any luck, um, the browser plugin. So here we go. I've got it loaded already. Um, so this would have been a link that someone sent me to join a video conference. Um, and then when I click on the link, I would get presented with, uh, you know, enter your name if you're joining as a guest. And then you can choose whatever your devices are. I'm just going to go ahead and use what's already filled in, hit join, and there we go. So now I'm in the same video conference, effectively the same experience, except it's embedded inside of a browser. So the UI is slightly different. Um, but in terms of uh, technologically, you still have all the same sort of features and the same quality. So I don't know how well it comes across on the projector, but I'd say Kristen looks pretty good. And this is all, again, just going over commodity internet straight from our office in New Jersey. There's no QoS. There's no magic other than our intellectual property in our what we call video router. Um, so that's the plugin. And lastly, I'm going to show you the WebRTC version of this. So I should just note that uh, the browser plugin, it is cross-browser, so it will work in every browser. And that's our solution for tackling the non-WebRTC uh, browsers today. Um, so on the WebRTC side, uh, there's one additional challenge. So if you didn't notice, I just clicked on the other tab over here. And this is a different link pointing to a different server, but it's going to put me in the same call. And um, I'm just going to go ahead. You notice the interface is basically the same. We want everyone to have the same experience. So I'm going to hit join. And with any luck, it's going to work. It's up. OK. Um, and so I'm out of time. But this is the WebRTC experience. Um, the major difference here is that every participant here is, has to be transcoded into VP8 obviously, in order to run WebRTC. So you are going to experience some degradation in quality, a little bit more latency. But overall, it's still a great experience. And my time is up. Thank you.